The global chip race till now has been ruled by nanometers. 3 nanometer, 2 nanometer, even whispers of 1 nanometer. But what if I told you India's next big tech leap isn't in nanometers at all, it's in angstroms, something that is 10 times smaller. While the world's still scaling down silicon, a group of 30 scientists from IISC Bengaluru just pitched a plan to build the smallest semiconductors ever made in the history of semiconductors. Angstrom scale chips that could crush the limits of Moore's law and rewrite India's role in the global semiconductor game. And here's the real kicker. They are not asking for 91,000 crore INR. They are just asking for 500 crore INR. Let's break it down for you. What are Angstrom chips? Why they matter? And could this be India's shot? at leading the post-silicon future. The smallest chips in production today are built at the 3 nanometer node. 1 nanometer is equal to 10 angstroms. To give you some context, one human hair is roughly 10 lakh angstroms thick. Now, just imagine a chip smaller than 1 nanometer made from materials just one atom thick. That's the future that IASC is betting on and they are asking for just 500 crore INR over a period of five years to build it. Silicon's reign is ending. For decades, silicon was king. But as we hit the limits of Moore's law, global R&D has pivoted to 2D materials like graphene and TMDs, capable of conducting electricity at an atomic scale. Countries like, say, USA, they have already invested $500 billion plus. Europe has invested $1 billion plus. South Korea, $300 million plus. Even China and Japan have made massive undisclosed investments. So all of these countries are deep into post-silicon R&D, but India still on the sidelines. Until now, thanks to IISC Bangalore. As I said, enter Team IISC. Led by Professor Mayank Srivastava, the 30-member team at IISC submitted the project proposal to the Principal Scientific Advisor, to my team, to Niti Aayog, and also to other key ministries. Their mission? Build angstrom scale chips using 2D materials, indigenously but at scale. With a roadmap for self-sustainability after year 5, it's not a moonshot, it is material science revolution. But they'll be able to build it in just 500 crore INR. Let's give you some context. India's flagship fab project, Tata plus PSMC in Gujarat, is valued at 91,000 crore INR. It uses silicon. Whereas ISCs ask 500 crore INR for tech way beyond silicon. That's less than 0.5% of what we are spending on legacy tech. The payoff? India will be able to become a big first mover in the next chip frontier. But if you're still asking why does this matter, Angstrom scale chips will power ultra-efficient AI processors. They'll power uh, compact quantum computing circuits, next-gen wearables, and edge devices with unmatched speed and density as well. So this is not just about shrinking gadgets, it's about redefining computing at quite literally a fundamental level. But yes, time is running out. Countries are already racing to patent the post-silicon future. And while India has the talent, the science, ambition, everything, we are still waiting for a go-ahead. If you don't move now, we'll miss the window. And that's what brings me to the big question. Will India back its scientists? Or will it spend the next decade catching up once again? Tell us in the comments what you think about this. Should India invest in Angstrom chips today? Let's discuss. Share this video with a fellow AI and tech enthusiast. And for more such stories on semiconductors, AI, everything powering tomorrow, subscribe to AIM TV. We bring to you before anybody else does. Think Nano, think Angstrom, think Chips, think India. Think AI, think AIM.